to another episode of Water Horse. Mr. Jerry Williams with us. I like that Water Horse cap. Oh, you fallen in line. Man. You fallen in line. The person gave it to me. <laughs> you fallen right, right, right in there, buddy. That's right. <laughs> Tell you what, we had a great show this weekend. I had a wonderful show. And, and we, got some, we got some great video. But before we go into our video, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we will be right back. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Oh, welcome back. Jerry, I got a couple of announcements. Uh, this weekend, Columbia Spring Jubilee, 2nd through the 4th in Columbia. You can contact them up there at 931-797-3139. Show starts at 6 o'clock each night. Thursday night, 17 classes. Friday night, 18. Saturday night, 20. I like the way they busted that up. Yes, that's right. Mike Hilly, Chris Bobo, and Amy Trimble will mark the cards. And then the following weekend, the 10th and 11th, we're going back to Huntsville. I'm looking forward to this. Huntsville, Alabama, down at Alabama A&E University Arena. Going to contact Gary Wayne Smith, 256-709-5661. That's professional trainers show for racking. But there's a lot of walking horse classes, classes yeah. in it. Start time Friday night, 6 p.m., Saturday night, 5 p.m. And I want to remind everybody, you'll like this, Jerry. A lot of the people in this industry make their living in different ways. We've got dealer, car dealers. We've got, like, Allison Armstrong. She owns a, a dealership. Yeah. All of these people, they work hard and come to Tennessee and show their horses. And one such group is Ben and Kayla Kale. Great people. They do roofing, Watson Roofing. Unbelievable. They do a little bit of everything. Right there is their contact information. And they I don't know if you've ever sat and talked to them. The night that Ben Kale won his World Grand Championship, he stayed out all night. Him and Edgar Abernathy. Yes. You know Edgar had uh -huh. been there. Was on the show the next morning to celebrate your year. <laughs> they still had their tuxedos on. <laughs> it was it was wild, but I always remember that. Now Gala, she's showing Pro V1 right now and doing a good yes, job. She is. But that's a real nice horse. Oh yes, yeah, a real, great horse. Real nice horse. We had 503 in, entries. Oh, I tell you, that was, it was a wonderful show this past weekend. A bunch well, of entries. 
Well, I think they had four violations, and not bad violations, but violations. Yes. Uh, sent one back to the barn. That, that's a great compliance rate. And I watched a lot of the inspections. And uh, say what you want to, show does a thorough job of inspecting. Oh, yes. And uh, Curtis Pittman's NAM group, they yeah. do a thorough job. I have, uh, those are the ones that I've seen. And, and my, the reason I'm saying this is I've seen where one of the congressmen, they, they keep using the word failed inspection process. But the only time it's a failed inspection pro process is when the USDA is in town and they start creating. Yeah. And, and they can say what they want to, but when you sit there and you watch them and they tag the same barn multiple times coming in, they want to check every one of their horses. And that's not right. I mean, it should be spread out. If when you put them in timeout and you give a violation like, well, I felt him move. He didn't move, but I felt him move. Uh, are you you're scraping around trying to find the least little mark that you can call a violation? They've come up with horses that uh, have a great back end. Sometimes something will pop up and rub their foot or something. They're wanting to say that's a violation, that that's intentional. Yes. And it's not. Uh, no. You know, show and... And I show horses, and I take them through the inspection all the time. But, I mean, they go over them horse thoroughly. I mean, when they put that horse's foot down, they are very confident that that horse is, is ready to show. Yeah. Or whatever, you know. And I agree. Now, some of, some of these horses, when they, you know, they'll inspect and everything. They, once they go in the ring, they change. I know I've got one that I watched him warm him up a bunch of times, and he looks great. Get in the ring, and my, you say, Lord, he looks terrible. Yeah. I mean, it's just the way they change. But anyway, that's this and there. We're going to go show some victory passes. That's always good. Everybody loves victory passes. This one right here is from Mid South Horse Show. All right, there's Miss Dixie Carter and Taylor Walters. Far Taylor Walters, your amateur ladies winner. That's a great horse. That is. I emailed Molly yesterday these victory passes because we just now got them up to YouTube. She sent me back. She said, I thought this was dark rain from the fun show. <laughs> <laughs> Not will I send that to you tomorrow. But Dixie Carter, I tell you what, that, that mare always makes a good show. And beautiful mare. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sits up in the brow, walks in shape. Do what you want one to do. And Dark Rain, the amateur five-year-old winner. Tell you what, yeah, he made a great show down there. But now he was a bad boy at the fun show. I was watching that class. I, I said, there ain't no way they can tie anything else but her. She was great. You know them horses, they'll show at them outside shows, but it's something about that celebration grounds. When they get there, they totally like a totally different horse. I mean, they like to show out over there. Man, I'm in the limelight. I, I better in, that's right. deck out. <laughs> and they do. Now, she did a fantastic job of showing him. If you notice, horses, the more you ride them and the more you get used to them, they get used to you. When you go in the ring, it, it shows. Yep. Definitely showed on Dark Rain this weekend because he was, he was a bad boy when he came in. All right, now we're going to go up to the Smoky Mountains. Smoky Mountain Classic. Right here's I'm a Jazz Master. I tell you what, Jeremy did a good job of showing yeah, that horse. Yeah, he did. Now. Good job. I tell you, Jeremy loves to ride, show, I mean, every day. Pretty much, he he does all the riding at the barn now, well, him and Ted. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you, if you see uh, Prater's Barbecue there. Yeah. If, uh, you know, I mean, he ought to have some pull to get us some barbecue. Probably, that's some good barbecue now. That's some no, top of the line I've barbecue. Ate, I've ate Prater's Barbecue And Mike's a, bunch a real times. good guy. Up there, Sky Coach and Hayes Harrison. 
Or Leanne Harrison. I met her at the fun show. She's a nice lady. Talking about cooking now, she can cook too. No, Every can. show, I can't wait for her to come to horse shows. She's gonna have a big plate, big spread there. All right, cooking. Well, next time I'm gonna get in line. Yes. That's a nice horse there too. I tell you what though, now he's a big old boy. He's about six five, yeah, he six is. four, he's, something like that. Yeah, he's, he's tall. tall. He's like a gentle giant when yes. you talk to him. Oh, hey, he's, oh, he's super nice, he's young man. Nice. Super nice. Right there is Heidi Mott. That lady right there is a super nice person too. Yeah. Her and her husband. You know, I never realized, but she she has never shown in the South before until now. Yeah. Uh-huh. And she she's done real good. She yeah. won she won up there and then she won down in, in Alabama. She's She's making herself known. Every time she shows, she has a big smile on the face and she's she loves it. Just enjoys it. Yeah. Just enjoys it. That's all that matters. And that's what it counts, you know, when people enjoy the ride, regardless of what place they get, they she enjoy it. That's it. She's that's what counts. Yeah. That's where the fun in life is, Jerry. Yes. Where the fun in life is. Right here is the black listener in Summer Brooks. Dwight called me and he said, hey, he said, you got that? I said, of course I do. And he said, put something on there. So yep. here it is. Dwight's a good guy. Yes. And Summer's a lovely young lady. But here was your amateur specialty championship. That was a nice horse, real nice horse. Oh, yeah. Get it done. He wears that bridle real good. That's fun. I tell you, they had a real good show over there. Yeah. She's getting it done there. That is for sure. Yeah. I love that color, too. Mm. That's a great color. They always say bet on the gray. If you listen to Alan Price, he'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Price? Well, <laughs> well, I tell you what. We have bet on the gray. I don't think that's Alan down. That, that, that's uh, Sarah. Sarah, she's but, he, the one that, but yeah. She's the one that says bet, bet on, on the gray. gray. <laughs> Just tell Alan to get over and eat his, his pastrami or whatever he's on today. All righty, here we go. Fun show. This is where it starts now, because they had a show. Here's two-year-old Mary Ann Gildings. I tell you, Thomas is doing a real good job. That's another young trainer coming up. Yep. That's doing real good. I'll tell you what. He's married Gildens. Jimmer's country girl. I'm telling you what now. That is one good mare. It is. Excellent. And Jimmer, he's down at the uh, Sugar, Creek. Sugar Creek now. But now this is six blues that this mare has won. Six. So competition going to be tough the rest of the year. Oh, yeah. But this, this little filly right here, I believe she can answer the call. Josh does a good job. Him and his Dale, all of them down there. I was kind of raised up with them down there in South Mississippi. <clears throat> well, I can tell you, they had one heck of a show. That many entries, only four violations. Yeah. That's a 99.5 or 6 percent. Yeah. And that's true, very true. I believe you know who that was.
Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts for Carol Baxter took the blue. This is a yeah. great class. Great class. I tell you what, that mare, that mare right there. That's, that's a real talented mare. She had a lot of people talking. Yeah. A lot of people. I'm happy for Carol. Hell, I am too. So, I mean, Back she, to, she's, she, she deserves it. And that right there yeah. is just testimony to Jimmer. Yeah. Right here is your four-year-old. Mares and Gildings. This was a great class. Yeah. Honor and salute, and Caleb Balkum took the blue for Kerry Diarman. Quite an honor, and John Allen Calloway for Beth Beasley. A scout's honor, Casey Wright for Tom Kakassi. Jen's Lucky Penny, Jeff Lachlan for Janie Chapman. I'm Charlie Daniels, Hayden Burks for Wesley Allen. See me walk and shake, Tanner Burks for Wesley Allen, or Tanner Burks for Sister Milligan, I'm sorry. Coach Bella, R.M. Kelly, Charles Glegren, and Imagine I Am, Bill Young for Beverly Sherman finished out the blue, the ribbons. There is some talented horses in here, very talented. Hey, a bunch of good ones now. Yes. I tell you what, though, Kayla, I thought Kayla made an outstanding yeah. show. That, that honor and salute of Carrie the Armands. Now, that, that horse right there is a piece of work. I've seen her ride him at the barn, and he, he just stands up and wears that bridle like a champ. Yeah. Some good ones out That's there. Some real good ones. We need right. on two or three of them. We could have a sale. That's right. You're I'm going right. to tell you, quite an honor. Now, it, like Beth Beasley says, that horse is just something special about him. So you got two of them. You got a, a gilding and a mare. Mar yeah. That just a step ahead. Nice right nice, there. Yeah. Either one of them horses I take home. Oh, Lord. I, that's one thing about it. I love it when you can watch a good class. Right. Yeah. And you know the judges got to make their money. Yep. There's John Allen Callaway in quite an honor. There, Kayla on the rail. And she is looking good. Yeah. I like the way that horse steps. I like the way that horse sets up and growl. Right there's your winner. Yeah. Four-year-old Marion Gildon winner, honor and salute. And Kayla Balcom for Carrie DeArmond. That horse just got a lot of walking yeah. shake to him, buddy. But now, she has a whole lot to do with it. Oh, yeah, she, she's a good she rider. She can ride a horse now. She can. I'm just waiting to see when she's going to step in the state class <laughs> on something. <laughs> they better be backing up when she does. Yes. Right here is quite an honor, and John Allen Calloway for Beth Beasley, four-year-old Married Gildan Reserve winner. Yep. First time that married been beat. And so she's a good one. She's That's a good one, one Beth's a high on. Yeah. 
And she is, now she wears that bridle real good too. Big mare. Oh yeah. Good, good, good mare. And here's Zorro Jr. and John Allen Calloway. Your four-year-old Stan Canner reserve winner. He, I, I thought he made an outstanding show. Yeah. He'll be heard from. Yep. Zorro Jr. And here's Gigi's Majestic and Jordan Howe, William Bradford. And I asked me, she said, you think it'll look, look okay without Elsie on it? <laughs> I said, well, it's gonna look real good, but I have to admit if uh, Elsie was on it, it'll look a whole lot better. Yeah. Yeah. She is a whole lot prettier than Jordan. <laughs> But I tell you what, Gigi's Majestic is a winner. I can't, I can't Shake name how right many there. times that horse has won. Yeah. World Championship, World Grand Champion. I mean, it's a winner all the way around. Jordan does a good job, yeah, too. Yeah, Jordan does a really good job. Can't knock Jordan. He no. just ain't pretty like a girl. Amateur five-year-old. Now, look, right here was a good class. Yes, it was a good class. My ticket to ride in Ray Shoemate Tyser took the blue for Sandy Shoemate, Jack Reacher, and Gala Kale for Ben Kale family. Jose's witchy woman, Kim Hall for Sammy and Gail Cagle, a ringmaster. Now, Sammy and Gail, those are some nice people. Yeah. Ringmaster Tom Morgan, Mr. and Miss Tom and Mary Ann Morgan, Tito, Ronnie Logston, a code of honor, Heidi McWilliams, all shook up, Sabrina Matthews, and walked by Charlie, Benton Pitts finished yeah. out the ribbons. This was a real good class. Yes, it was. Nice looking horses in yes. there. But I'm, I am going to say this, Ray Shoemaker can flat ride Oh, horses. she can ride now. And congratulations. She is getting married. What was it they said? Look here, we're getting married. <laughs> but Ray had some good teachers on Lifetime she's teaching her how to ride. Her mother can fly. Her ride. mother can ride. I mean, she had horses with Rodney Dick when she was little, and Tim Gray. And with Billy Gray, too. Yeah, Tim, yeah. Billy. Yeah. Tim. That's when she was a kid, you know. Well, I've watched her ride a lot now, and she, she's a good jockey. Yeah, she is. But I watched her mother ride, too, now. Her mother can flat ride. Did you notice Thursday night there was quite a few people there? Yes. Friday night there was more. Saturday night there was a ton. Yes. The gray horse, I can't think of the young man's name, but he had won a class not long ago. His horse looked real good. I just thought he got a little fast in the class. Yes. But now he, his horse looked real good. Right there she is, my ticket to ride and race you make Tyser for Sandy Shoemate. I like the way she sets the saddle. Yeah. I mean, she sets she it sits. just like she was in an equitation she, class. Yeah, she sits up. It makes these videos look so much better. Yes. I'll tell you another thing that does, Lily Ridley. Yeah, she yeah, sits up she, real. She does real well. Now, 
Oh, and both of the greens. Right Amateur 15, two and under, Marin Gildan. Now here was a class. Pro V1. And Kayla Kale took the blue for Ben Kale family. Punisher. Ashley Ray was reserve. Nine carat diamond, Dr. Brittany Baum. Legally Blonde, Brenda Mormon. The American Mobster, Linda Shrivener. I'm Dancing for Dollars, Molly Walters. A Sunday Rose, Lisa Baum. And Charlie's Phantom, Peggy Mervine. Now I'm telling you right now, when you got horses in there like the Punisher. Yeah. Dancing for Dollars. You in a class. Oh, yeah, you in a big class. Right there's that dancing for dollars, and buddy, she looked good. Molly's another one that's set up in yeah. the saddle. It was good to yeah. see classes as full as they were. And as good horses yes. as it was. I mean, you have full, every class had a ton of good horses in it. You didn't see no slouches now, no. that's for sure. Right there she is. Pro V1 and Kayla Kale for Ben Kale. 15 2 and under. Marin Gildan winner. Buddy, she's putting on a show right there. Yeah. I was talking to her about doing an ad, and I just shut up because Ben was saying how good that horse looked and how they all do it. I said, uh -huh. Go get it, Ben. <laughs> Tell you what she did, she looked awful good out there. And she doesn't show that often. She said normally she yeah. only shows at the celebration. So she may show one time and that's yeah. it. All right, amateur novice. The largest class of the week. Oh, 20 horses. Nice. 20. Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. Former military right there. Yeah. Took the blue. We will rock you and Chris Hutchinson. I'm loving it, Lisa McMahon. Hero, Debbie Flack, Ozark, April Jeffers, Masters Cool Jazz, Glenda Nichols, I'm Resurrected, Amy McCurdy, and Kong, Gerald Funchy finished out the ribbons. Oh, Gerald had to slip in there, didn't he? Yeah. Tell you what, that, that was a stacked class, oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Class. Look at there. Yep. Unreal. Good horses, real good horses in that class. Anytime you say novice, there's a it shows that yeah. everybody doesn't win. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, Beth Collins, have you ever talked to her? Yes. Yeah, she's a super good person, but she was 
She was in the military for yeah. several years. They need to have a novice over 70 that's never shown before class. Yes. I could slip in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's some yeah. good horse right there. I believe when a class that big, some of the horses kind of get lost. Yeah, that's what it is. They get to watching Watch others, and, and some of them just flat out get lost. Hard to keep up with 20 horses. What that's a lineup though, ain't it? Oh yeah, it's a big lineup. Ones that was there though put on a show. Oh yep. Quinn. Your amateur novice winner, Harley Quinn for Beth Collins. She had to go right back home because she said they had a bunch of hay she had to get up. Yeah. That's really something come down here, get in one class and go back and haul hay. Everybody else down here <laughs> having a good time. She's a worker. Yes, sir. That's a nice horse, real nice horse. Oh, yeah. Right here is Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald. This by far is one of my favorite horses, by far. Oh, yeah, that always been a good horse for a long time. I mean, he's just, He's just, I, I don't know, he's, to me, yeah. he's just something that you like to sit back and look at. Yeah. And Bruce does and a Bruce, good job yeah. of showing it. I was say, really Bruce does. does a real good job. He always seems so laid back. He is. He's <laughs> a mean, real nice guy. <laughs> Well, I love that horse, that's for sure. Mr. Heisman, he, he, he's a great classic horse, no doubt about it. He just, yeah. just I mean, when, when you think about it now, it used to be Golden Sovereign. Now, it's Mr. Now, now, that's a good horse, a real good Oh, horse. Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna take a short pause for our sponsors. We'll be right back with some more great video from the fun show. Again to win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. 
A Jen Wynn is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breathe your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Post My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Post My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. everybody to go to the winter circle now you can get face masks flies are bad this year yes get your face masks there but they've got a variety of anything you want especially for the trail horse which is more and more popular they got saddles they got your bits they got your girths they got the saddle pads you name it bridles halters you name it you go to the winter circle and you can get anything you want including leg wraps How's that? That's a good place to go. I go there all the time because David and them, they treat you like a king when Wonderful you come in. Wonderful place to go. Well, you can, get, you can get a lot of other stuff. They got knives, you got your mug, Ariat. They got a big sale on Ariat stuff right now, especially jackets. And some nice people that work there. The great people that work yeah. there. <laughs> And one other thing, Jay, I want to remind everybody, the big sale out at Highway 43, or what they call that, Highway 43 auction, mm -hmm. but it's on 64. <laughs> they started loading up early. I got there, and this is what I saw, getting all the way to the back. They're taking them to the back and let them go to the front. Horses riding up and down the road, getting ready to go in for the sale. They had a line up in the back, registering horses there, getting ready to get them in there. Big Dave said, it looks like it's going to be big. That's him right there. And then they had the inspection area, and you can see all the way out the back, they had lined up yeah. coming in. All these horses were inspected before the sale. So the word was, it went great. And that's what matters. We, a, lot of, a lot of flat shot horses. Because that trail riding right now yeah. is big mm -hmm. time. Oh, it's big, real yeah. big. And just so everybody knows, we just discussing going in on Sunday yeah. afternoon after church. Forget lunch, grab a sandwich, and hit the heels. That's All right. right. All right, more video from the fun show. Right here's first night out in Alley Joe Jacob. I tell you what. I love the idea. She wants to show. She's worse than Sister Milligan. She Sister shows. Milligan wants to show in every class. Allie Joe is. Yeah, yeah. She uh -huh. ain't fooling around. She ain't going to it. She'll show in the 17 and under class. She'll get in here and show yes. in this. I mean, she just she just wants to show. Jake said he got her a spotted trail pony. Said now she wants saddlebags and all. She's ready to hit the trail. She's ready to hit the trail. <laughs> I think that is great. That though. is great. It really it's is. It's great. Brad Gregory owns that horse. But I tell you, it's a good thing because I, I love to see these kids having a good oh, time. Oh, yeah. Right here, me and Pocahontas Tyler Malcolm for Allison Armstrong. 
That is one of the best mares alive to death. Yes. We've got, and we've got several great mares. This is one of them. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, they did some embryos with her and Troubadour. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, they did. But I tell you, me and Pocahontas, I love the name. Right here's a Super Bowl MVP. She made a fantastic yes, show. I thought she did great. She done wonderful. Well, BB can flat ride. Maxine can too, yeah. but BB gets out there and gets in it, goes smack dab. Let's go. Great show, BB. And here's I'm Sky Black and Kayla Balkum. Big fan favorite. Cause she made one heck of a show. We're gonna see more and more of her in the ring. Oh yeah. Sky Black, she's showing Carrie the Armand's horse for him. When you got a good jockey, you ask her to take care of you and oh, yeah. she is. Here is I am, you know, in Jake Jacobs for the Jacobs family. He was reserved in his class. And the horse that he's fixed to come up on is Kerry DeArmond's horse. But I am, you know, was on the money. Yeah. Looked great. And he, he's been, oh yeah. You know, he's been awesome all year long. That horse there is a real nice horse. He got the head, he's got it all. First time I saw Jake ride him was out in the pasture. And he, he was had the full pads on there. Uh -huh. He put him down there as part performance. Yeah. Something else. And right here, carry the arm in that magic line, buddy. He and Jake. Several people said this. They could have tied either one of them yep. horses. Because uh -huh. they were good. From start to finish, they got the job done. And Kerry made a great show. Yep. He sets a good saddle. Real good saddle. Right there, both of them are together. And you can see both of them getting it done. But, but Kerry, I, I was right proud of you, buddy. Kerry DeArmond. For Billy DeArmond. His wife shows that horse, too. <laughs> right here's Amateur Ponies. This is the one that got right now. Great class. But Taylor had Dark Rain on all cylinders. Dark Rain and Taylor Walters took the blue. The ultimate honor in D. Boom Yoder was reserved. Dreamcatcher Santana, Tanya Strickland. Strike, Lisa Baum. Anthony Davis, Jaden Jackson. Jake Ryan, Beth Agliner, Agnar. Chaotic, Ashley Case. And All-American Silver, Emily Kaiser Jackson. But on this night, it rained dark. Yeah. Look at there. Nice horse. I tell you what, she, 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 uh, I, I do believe that Molly Walters was very proud of that. Yeah. Because she did a fantastic job. They had a bunch of good horses in that class, too. I mean, every one of these show classes had some good horses in it. There wasn't no slouches no, in none of them. That's a fact. I like that horse has got one heck of a head it's, set yeah. with a shape, buddy. Yeah. 
good on it. Good say, right there. Say, talk to me now. <laughs> Look at that crowd. Yeah. There she is, Dark Rain and Taylor Walters from Molly Walters' family. Amateur pony winner. I can sit and watch these good oh, yeah. ones all day long. All day here. long. Ain't nothing like a good horse. Good smooth ride and happy times. Good job. Right here, Dixie Road and Link Webb. Open specialty. Good horse. I'm here to tell you, bud. Good song. Ain't done. nothing, nothing like what this is. He flat put it on him. Joe Barnes, one happy dude, bud. Yeah. Everybody been talking about this horse all weekend. We put just a little clip up on Facebook, and they have tore it up. But it ain't nothing compared to this now. This right here shows it all. That's what a walking horse is supposed to do right there. That's it. I love that. He, he's got that slow walk, but then yeah. he brings him up into this. Not, not real, real fast, but it's yeah. a fantastic running walk. Head shake, yeah. everything timed up perfect. They better watch out for him because yep. it's going to be hard to overtake that by any of them. He is, that, he, he is just good. that good. He's I mean, good he, he is. He's tough. All right. We're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we'll be right back with some more video. <laughs> I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> We're getting ready to go into some more video from Saturday. This is from Saturday night. Right there, my Maserati Alfreya. I can't pronounce that last word. Chris Son for Karen Bean, your park pleasure winner. That is one bad cat, son. Yes, it is. Just back up and watch him come on. No, he can flat get it done. You know, if you look back, all these horses got the same thing in common, from the trail pleasure to the light shot to the heavy shot and pet. All of them walks and shakes. Well, that one right there flat walks and he yeah. shakes. The good horse right there. Yep. That's the one Karen's so tickled with. Here's the three-year-old stallions. 
hey, this is a tough class here. Th this was a tough class, but when you looked out there, there was one that stood out big time. Cavender and Knox Blackburn for Ruth Bruce and Robin McDonald. He's hot. Tanner Birch for Sister Milligan. A shade of Jose. Tyler Balcom. Mr. Miss Lackey. Heads up Jose. Sam Martin. I'm March Madness. Casey Wright. He's Mr. Maverick. Bill Calloway. Stoned on Jen. Thomas Derrickson. And he's Top Gun. Derek Monahan finished out the ribbons. But you can look at the trainers in there and know that they left with nothing. They did not get a ribbon. That's a good horse. Knox. I'll tell you what, I, I, I really like him. I liked him. He showed him over in in uh, Murfreesboro yeah. as a two-year-old, and he and he made a great show over there at Thorson's, and he showed him a couple more times, but then he showed him over here at the uh, Champions Arena, and my Lord, he was something else. Now, he, he just, look at him. Yep. He's just unbelievable. But when you look at all them horses in there and how Jerry Beatty was on a good one. Yep. There's a bunch of them on good ones that left with no ribbon. Jimmy McConnell. I love to hear the crowd go Me like too. that. When you do that, you know there's a bunch of good, good ones in there. Now. Every one of them's cheering for a different horse. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Yeah, boy. <laughs> there he is. Cavender and Knox Blackburn for Bruce and Robin McDonald, your 3 0 stallion winner. He's going to be he's gonna be hard to beat. Yep. I mean, we got a bunch of good ones. I ain't going to say he can't be beat, but I am going to say it's going to be hard to beat him. That 3 0 class will be a tough class. Yes, it is. It's going to be real yep. tough. Yep. It might just be the toughest class of the year. Yeah. But I'm I'm proud of and happy for Knox. Now I oh, really am. Yeah, I Tickle for him. Right here's Da Hoss oh. and Ali Joe Jacobs for the Jacobs family. She was reserved, but buddy, she put on show, I thought. Yep. I love to watch her ride. Because she is very competitive, very competitive. And she enjoys herself, too. That's the main thing. She'll probably end up doing the obstacles before it's over with. She likes to ride. Yes, she does. Right here is the Sky Coach. And that's your boy right there. Yes. Lynn Harrison. That's a nice horse right there. Yes, I thought Jeremy did a real good job of showing that horse. Real good. A 
lot of people was pushing him on up there to the 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 wind. Yeah. That horse walks and shakes. He's a big horse. That horse about yeah. 17 hands. Oh, he's big. Look yeah. at him on the rail over there. He's covering that rail now. If he's yeah. close to it, he's about even oh, with yeah. it. But Jeremy did a good job. And right here he is, Joe Paul and Winky Groover for Strickland and Porterfield. Shane says we're going to keep coming. Yep. And Joe Paul was there the other night. There he is, Joe Paul and Winky Groover, Strickland and Porterfield. Walking over state class winner. 503 entries, and Joe Paul left out with the roses. That That's work. pretty good. That is. I know Winky was awfully happy. Awfully happy. Yeah. Well, this week we're headed to Columbia. I yeah. like the way they broke that up, 17, 18, and 20. Yeah, they should have a real big show over there. I'm thinking they will, too. Yeah. I, I just hope that everybody supports it the way they did the fun show. Because yeah. we, can, we can go up there and, and really kick off our summer months big time. Because we've got a lot of good horses oh, yeah. out here. A lot of good ones. And, and we got some that we haven't seen yet. Well, you had a lot of people that stayed over from the fun show, going to yep. be over here at Columbia, you know, then go back home. That's it. And then some of them will stay a little bit longer oh, just yes. so. I talked to a lot that's looking forward to going down to Alabama. Yes. Because, that, I mean, that's a big show down oh, yeah. And plus the fact it's in that arena down there that I can remember going down there for shows in the past. It's real nice. I can't, I just couldn't understand why we wasn't having more shows there. Oh, that's a real nice arena. They got oh. stalls there and everything else. So, I mean, it's, it's real Everything nice. you want. I believe uh, Keith Alshire and uh, uh, Joe Cotton yes. are going to mark the cards. Mm -hmm. And Joe, I've seen Joe judge. Now Joe will judge a horse. Yeah. And and Keith, I'm I'm sure Keith, Keith does will a good too. job. Well, we'll yeah. find out. Well, I guess we'll see everybody next week on another episode of What Horse. Yes. That suit you. Yes. That suit can me. we go now? Yes, we can go. We we can go. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. Gary said we can go. <laughs> see y'all next week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, What a horse! I know they're talking about me, of course, and I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.